So you're a DaVinci Resolve light user that really loves your free software and you get this state-of-the-art camera that does 4, 8, 10-bit, 422 recording like the Fuji X-T4, EOS R5, Nikon Z6 or GH5, in my case, G9. And you didn't notice about the limitation of DaVinci Resolve and its ability for 10-bit 422. It doesn't allow you to edit there. Aww. In this video, I'll show you a workaround how to get it working to be able to edit in DaVinci Resolve Free your 10-bit 422 footage. A little bit about myself. I'm a travel and hybrid lifestyle shooter. And I love camera gear as much as the process. Tinkering with great gear is equally as fun as the experiences in the field. Let's roll. So you didn't budget for DaVinci Resolve software, the studio version. Who knew that it wouldn't support 10-bit 422? I thought the only limitation was 4K DCI or larger than 4K. Well, turns out that it does support 10-bit 422, just not H.264 format. I'll walk you through from the beginning to the end how to get around this limitation. And the, the crux of it is you're simply going to convert your files to Apple ProRes and our method is going to be completely free removed from Adobe we're just going to use a little bit of scripting don't worry it's not going to be scary I'm going to walk you through the entire thing okay it's there's nothing fishy about it I'm not sending you any files I'm going to show you how to create your very own script and a workflow that is bulletproof the only downside is that you know you have to transcode your files to ProRes and that takes some time but if you're in a pinch like me I, I didn't really budget for studio version yet I will buy it eventually because I really like Blackmagic and I will support them but I'm not ready for it yet I just don't have any I didn't know that this was a limitation you know I got the camera and sorry for now I'm just I just read some stuff online and I put together some stuff and we'll get through this right now. Okay, let's take a look at ffmpeg.org. You're gonna need ffmpeg. It's it's just like a lot of video help. And uh, I use Windows, so you could probably get by with Linux and Apple as well, but I use Windows, so it says Windows build by Zeranoa. Okay, so I already downloaded this, but I'm going to walk you through it. So you go through, you select, this is the latest version, 64-bit architecture. I don't understand what this linking is, and you download it. So I've got it downloaded. And uh, so we'll extract it. Extract here. What, what you want to do is you want to rename this folder so it's less cumbersome you just call it ffmpeg so after you download it you've extracted it there's a bin file so this is your executable but you don't have to worry about that so you open up your c drive we're gonna let this just sit in your c drive okay so I'm going to copy this over to the C drive. There you go. So from there on, now you have to find a way of executing this every time. And to make it simple, you know, I have this batch file. Okay. And uh, I'll let you see what's going on. Okay. So it says if not exists so I want this converted folder okay so if this converted folder okay so here's my folder of the test footage okay I have this file that I want to get converted right here 
this MLV file. It's just a four second test clip. And I want it so that uh, when I <clears throat> when I convert my files, I just double click this converter and it'll create a converted folder and then move all the files into that converted folder. So that is our goal. We're gonna have this little script and it's gonna move the files into a converted folder, which is converted to ProRes. And what the script says is for every file that's an MOV file in this current folder, use FFmpeg converter and video, convert the video to ProRes KS and the profile. Uh, this should be three. Let me save that. And the audio would be AAC. Okay, so what this does is that we're going to convert the files in a batch mode to ProRes. And I found out through this read up in the, the FF. FFmpeg Wiki that ProRes is a 422 codec with existing 4444 variation. FFmpeg comes with three different ProRes. ProRes, ProRes KS, and ProRes AW. In our testing, we found that ProRes and ProRes KS encoders and found ProRes underscore KS to be the best encoder to use. It is only is the only one that supports the 4444 color space and although it may be slightly slower the color quality in the videos produced by these two codecs usually vis visually indistinguishable because of the 4444 support we've decided to go with Katsuya's version of the ProRes therefore profiles proxy LT SQ and HQ in MPIC these profiles are assigned numbers 0 to 3 so we want the high quality Apple's official ProRes write papers details on the codec and information associated with the profiles for quick reference basic okay so this is just more just documentation okay so the script is created okay so you guys can pause the video and just type this down into a text file and then save it as prores underscore converter dot bat and wherever your footage goes you bring this file along with that footage but off the bat, it's not going to work because we haven't associated FFmpeg yet. So to do that, you type, you go into your search bar in Windows 10, search for environment variables, environment variables, and you see edit system environment variables. Okay, so what you need to do here is you, you have to add it to this path right here, system variables path okay so you hit edit and earlier we copied the file to we copied it to cffmpeg so click on new type in c colon slash ffmpeg slash bin all the executables are in the bin folder so that's why you have to have that bin as well hit ok and hit OK again, hit OK again. Okay, so now when we call this, this batch file, it should call FFmpeg from that bin, bin folder that we copied, well, from that C drive FFmpeg bin that we copied it to because we just directed the environment variables to go to that location. Now we're ready to batch process. Oh, but before we batch process, let's take a look at DaVinci Resolve, I'm gonna import that file and we'll show you what happens, okay? This is just me giving a thumbs up. All I get is audio, okay? You see that? Nothing but audio. So I'm gonna remove the clip. And now this time around, I am gonna process this to ProRes. It's really slow, so just bear with me for a second. You see, it's 
three frames per second and my computer is like dying already so right now we're in frame 64 it's it's a slow process what can i say it's free but it's slow so let's just okay done good okay so now we're going to back to davinci resolve now we're going to import and we'll go to the converted change boom okay so we'll just try again our timeline and hit play there you go what can I say we've got it working let's just uh, add a LUT on to air we'll go with the Panasonic LUT there you go Panasonic V log L to Rec 709 LUT. So that's it for the video. You guys found it helpful. Please like and subscribe to, to my channel. Um, yeah, spread the word. This, if you're in a pinch, you know, you can use this to encode all your files. It's great to have it. You pay nothing for the software. The software is completely free still. I mean, you see. I couldn't add the 4, 422 footage. Now I can. Yeah, there you go. A workaround for the system. And yeah, share this. If you know anybody that might find it useful, check out my videos for more camera attainment. See ya.